Let me shock you a little bit. We lost the OKX sponsorship while we were in Singapore. Go on. Bye bye. Wanna see you? Go on. Bye. See you. It's gone. Okay, problem is when you lose something, it ain't coming back. Promise you, it's not coming back. Okay, once you lose a customer, you ain't getting a customer back. Face it. I was optimistic the whole way through that we could keep them and that we could also bring them on to banter for Annie. But yeah, we've got back, we've got back to the office and unfortunately they, they're out. He looks at you, he doesn't see David, my see, foreign, see, or how much volume. One billion, two billion, three well, billion. They just see volume. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but we got to fix this. Yeah. The reason why we lost the sponsorship was because we weren't bringing in the trading volume. And the reason why we're not bringing the trading volume is because we're not trading because we just don't think it's a responsible thing to do at the moment is to trade. And so what I said to OKX is I put my hand on my heart and I said to them, I don't want to walk in the industry and I don't want our name tarnished in the industry where someone says, hey, I went with Bantha and I didn't get my return. And so my mandate to the whole company now is we're going to do whatever it takes at our own cost to make sure that our sponsor is happy until they feel that they've got a return on investment. I don't care how long we work for. I don't care if it takes a day, a month, a year. I don't really care. We're going to do everything we can, we can to put it right with OKX, but um, probably one of the biggest disappointments um, of the year for me. Miles has um, fortunately just got into a very strong position with sponsorships. That, that's his. The sponsorships vision. are doing very well on the show and, he, and he's servicing them unbelievably and, well. And, and that's it. And, well. and products, dude. Percentage shares of products. Yeah. He must just do tutorials on products, just yeah. do this, ratings. Yeah, exactly. Subscription show products. Yourself. Show them, bro, you're so smart for your age. It's fucking... Oh, thanks, sir. It's huh. fucking, yeah, bro, you, you actually, you actually, <laughs> too. you actually fucking gifted, bro. But I like this stuff, though. This yeah, but your, my brain, yeah, your like, brain is fucking, like, for someone at, like at your age to have this clarity, it's just, it's, Jesus. Thank you, bro. Yeah, that's, thank you. Bro. So, yes, exchanges can have one metric, but we have different metrics. And the first and most important metric for us, at all costs, is to change as many lives as possible. And to make the most profitable community in the world. We will never, ever, ever compromise that to fit into somebody else's business model. What do I mean when I say that? We can get a lot more trading volume, but we're going to wreck our community. Okay? We're not doing that. Rather, we will rather hold the plane and watch the plane go down. People want all. You know what I mean? They want me to go to a bunch of alts. And then I tell Fred this, and he's like, no, we had this conversation. We have to take every trade. Otherwise, why are you not doing it? So it's like, He's like, don't get caught if you're not taking the trades. You're not this. So it's like just very like conflicting of what the hell I should do. Ron and the team, they've been wanting me to trade massive accounts. And uh, for me, it was like, okay, I trust them. I want to listen to them. Let's do it. Like in anything, I always want to try help, right? Um, but it's actually bullshit, to be honest. The problem is that when people trade $500 accounts, they blow them up because they don't really care about the money and I need the hosts to care about every trade. Before they go out there and make a trade, I want them to really feel like they've got skin in the game and that they would feel it just like the community member would feel it. I don't want people that get the community into trades, they're not in the trades themselves, they're not following the trades and effectively the community just get tricked. That I don't want. Because it was this and I gave the brief this morning but then the other YouTube special said no one must change it to this and then I go to Fred and Fred said it's washed it, we need to change it to this and I go to Kayla and she says no it needs to be this so I got four different opinions of what it should be. I have no comments right now, I have a super low waiting room. I'm just like... One of those, you know, the... Sean gets back from Singapore and his head is going we need to do this, we need to do that, this, 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 and it's just going off and going off. Yesterday was the lowest show ever. I get it, so it's, but I still want a team that takes things seriously. You know what I mean? Like, like, takes it personal. When we hit it bad for the day, everyone takes it personal and we, we come back better. Um, Sheldon jumped on a, a live show and his numbers dropped drastically and that affects Sheldon quite a bit. He gets quite depressed. Because we focus on the numbers, we're starting to lose who Banter actually is. The, the community didn't like that I was trading bigger accounts. They were like, Sheldon, you used to be one of us. Now you're just this rich guy showing off your money. And that's the last thing I ever wanted. Good to go. Stressful day. Okay. I immediately phoned everybody in the team and I'm like, everybody must get on a call now. 
and I'm like, Sheldon, why are you so focused on the numbers? Uh, you, you're losing yourself. This numbers game to me is just, it's destroying you. I think today is just bring vibes, huh? Suffering, do your thing. Be there for the community. Bring remember? vibes and do what we do. That's it, nobody else. I see the comments. I've seen the comments commenting about how tough it is to work here. Um, look, we're trying to build a billion dollar business. It's a high performance environment here. It's not supposed to be a cushy place to work. We want entrepreneurs, we want people who, who can really take the bull by the horns and be independent and make stuff work. It's not for people who need a manager and a manager's manager, this place isn't for you. Uh, we've seen in the comments that some people think that banter is not a great place to work. We're just in a volatile period right now where we have to suddenly shift and change our entire model because of unforeseen circumstances, because of the bear market. Guys, we're the bottom of the bear and we're grinding. When no one's working hard, we're pushing hard. We know what we're working for. And when the tides eventually rise, instead of only having one ship in the docks, we're gonna have a whole bunch of ships and ultimately we'll come out stronger. I guess this is the best place in the world, but it's not easy. This week is done, but I'm saying going forward, if there's a, you, before you film anyone, before you make anyone famous, before you do anything, you look at the news group and you make sure the person's in the news group. If they're not, they're dead. There's, there's basically no further investment. I think one thing that's going to come out of this meeting, based on what I heard yesterday from everybody else, is that they find that there's not enough research that goes into the show. Now the only way the research group works is if everybody contributes. The problem is that 50% of the people that don't contribute, free riders. So I'm going to tighten the screws a little bit and make sure that everyone starts contributing into this newsroom. It's as simple as that. The newsroom, the Banter newsroom, is one of the most important parts of our business. It's a place where we drop everything that we see that is of interest to us, and we use that information internally to create content and to make investment decisions. And I think the newsroom and the news call determines the actionable outcomes of the content we provide on the shows. If we can't give actionable content, people don't watch. If people don't watch, we don't get views. If we don't get views, we don't get sponsorships. And if we don't get sponsorships, we close doors. If you're not in the newsroom, if you're not in the newsroom, you're dead to me. You don't exist to me. Yeah. Anybody that you're not in the newsroom. And I mean that, I mean that. I, mean that, I, mean that, I don't really have much words about that. To be I, I, I mean that for anyone. I mean you're taking it all in. Run my straight it's, the charts. Put it in. I want to spam people. Put it in. You have to. Are you, you not on Twitter? Do you have to scroll on Twitter? I've seen you on Twitter. Yeah, Great, I don't, don't, don't see anything yeah, that interests you. I don't research Twitter. I don't have time to research Twitter. Sometimes read no, tweets. I don't read Twitter. Yeah. Based on what I heard yesterday from everybody else, is that they find that there's not enough research that goes into the show. The way the research group is designed is, it's supposed to keep the hosts diligent and doing research all the time to make us all better. That's how we created it. When you join Patrick Bet David's business, you know what one of the, the, the criteria to join that business is? You have to read 12 books a year and write a review and present your review to everyone in the company. And if you don't read your book, you're out of that business. Simple. Okay? So we don't do it like that. We say, we want to keep all our hosts diligent. We want to keep all our hosts on top of the game. And so we created a news group where everybody's going to drop shit in. Okay? People decide that you don't need to drop shit in. You're on Twitter anyway, you're on Discord anyway. Just copy and paste what you see and just drop it in the Telegram group. Some people don't do it. So how do hosts remain clever? Number one, they watch other people's content. Number two, they study a lot, they read a lot. And if they don't, then you can see it. You can see it. The shows become dry, the shows become shallow. You can see it. Fact. And so I really hope that this doesn't have to get nasty. I really hope we don't have to go to contractual obligations, put in new company policies, but I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to make sure that the news group lives because I think it's one of the most valuable assets that this company has and the, one of the most valuable assets that investors have. But you can't expect a host to post the same as a full-time no, researcher. No, no, no. There's just no it's chance. Not a, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm expecting you to post relative to what you're capable of posting. Yes. What I'm not expecting is people, example, Miles. Miles on Twitter every day, fucking all day. Not one single post in the newsroom. Is that fair? Is that fair? After all this business does for him, is that fair? No. No. It's not fair. 
So guys, Craig ends up getting removed from uh, the morning call group. He uses this information to help build my shows. And now I've lost my main pillar that helps me build my shows. He's been kicked off uh, and it's just a, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. A post, you'll be removed. So then I post and then you still remove. He did the removal, not me. I did, uh, no, I marked everyone who started being active. Well, I posted twice yesterday. I wake up at quarter past five to prepare shelf and show and I'm fucking off the group. I've done fuck all for your show now. But I mean, this is an integral part of us producing the show. Exactly. So, you can't, if you're not researching, you can't produce a show. Impossible. Gone. Removed. Next. Um, I just want to say that, you know, I think we are going through a very hard time, first of all. Um, and during the hard times, we can question everything. For me, thumbnails, your thumbnails, your expressions really pisses me off. Yeah. Like, I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust them. If I didn't know you, I would never watch these videos. I think, you know? 100%. And, uh, Carl, this one, the, you know, with the iPad. The... <laughs> <laughs> well, the one that they had me on. Got to go. They had one with me, not with you. <laughs> so, so I asked them to change it, they put me. Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. So, we all went to Miami earlier this year, and one night we went out and we saw George, and every host of banter came back and said, George is trying to poach me to get me onto his new channels, and it was like the biggest joke of the office. Carla, you're going to Cryptos R Us, to Cryptos R Us Plus. Why? I don't know, so, you, the, 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 Ali's told me you're going to Cryptos R Us Plus. <laughs> I didn't say I'm going. I mean, can't have friends. <laughs> work with me, work, work with me. I tried to, to try to try, try to like I said, Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I'm Kyle. We're all Kyle. Just want to see how, see how, I want to see how, you do, how well you do. What? Welcome back to Crypto R Us <laughs> Plus. Okay. Plus. Well, I'm Kyle. We're all Kyle. Okay. Welcome back to Crypto R Us Plus. Okay. Welcome back to Crypto or Cryptos or Us Plus. I'm Kyle and we all are Kyle. I don't know if that's going to work for me. I think it was about some crypto fight night, but he left his laptop open. Someone saw the message and now the joke's spreading like wildfire. It's just a message. I walked out invasive in this company. They just walk and start recording your laptop. Um, nothing to it. The end. Okay, we're ready. Last, just confirm guys, sound fine. As a belief, thank you. Lifetime, baby. You gotta take the shoes off every day as you gotta release uh, uh, resistance. I even heard of traders that trade with no pants. So I'm starting with the shoes. Uh, if it works, then maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see how, uh, how far we'll take it. But uh, let's get rhythm, let's get going. Let's do what we do, baby. Okay. Weekend time and a nice big move is on the horizon. Guys, we've been tracking the markets beautifully and um, just looking at the different scenarios. You know what I've been enjoying very much? is taking it day by day and looking at what the market is printing. So no more wasting time. Get out of bed. Get your coffee ready. Let's go. Ah, feeling good, bro. I'm just going back to the charting. I'm going back to the day by day charting, looking at what we can do, uh, and just being there for the community, getting my fire back, getting my enjoyment back for the shows. Use up, energy's up. Got his mojo back. Love it. Ooh, let's go, baby, go. <laughs> yes, baby. Alrighty, show done. Guys, we're bringing vibes. The charting is back on point. Uh, and uh, we're having a lot of fun. So again, a very big informative show, 50 minutes. Um, but uh, no drop-offs. People are there, they're commenting, they're back. It just feels like we, we're back at what we do. Yeah, yeah baby! Yeah, 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 back baby. Yeah. Boom! Yeah, Love baby. it, well done, bro. Well done, Fucking well yeah. done, bro. It's obviously the last few days have been pretty hard to see my views drop so much, you know, it was quite scary for me. Um, but then the team came together and it meant a lot to me. And now we're back on the rise. So one thing I do love about the high intensity is we take things personal. And when someone's dropping, we come together and, you know, we work as a family. 
any just wrote us a mail that says that she doesn't see the value of being a banter and she wants to terminate the relationship. Well, I'd say I'm surprised, but I'm not. It's not your only intention of making it work. Yeah, I think when it's, um, when it's this hard to convince her to be here, yeah. then we should just let things be. The journey with Annie has been strange. I love Annie. Before she joined Banter, she had a small channel. She had, you know, an average 2,000 views per show. But I thought she was worth much more than that. I thought that, you know, with the right partners, exposure, backing, maybe we could explode her. And it's what it is. If you're going to be part of Banter, you've got to be part of the culture. Um, you got to be part of this team and you got to have it in your heart and your soul. I agree. 100% I agree. Uh, is, is it Annie leaving? Did she send a message for real? That's what, that's what I've just been told. Annie? Yes. I, don't, I have no idea, but uh, I probably wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, would you know why though? Um. I don't know, she seems like a woman that wants her way, and if she doesn't get her way, we probably have the king of yes. kings of not getting her own way, so yes. it would make sense. She's quite a strong, feisty woman that yeah, wants her way, she's very... and she's just met the king. Okay, I mean, if Rand doesn't want her to leave, she's not leaving. I don't know if this is true, but yeah, that's my thoughts. Well, she's like, she's twisting his arm pretty good. Really? Yeah, you can just see. At this point, I don't know if Annie's in or if Annie's out. And I'm frankly, I'm losing sleep over it. I really hope we can fix this because I think she's an amazing trader and a great content creator. It's a shame. I was looking forward to it. I think there was massive potential. Look, I really like Annie. Um, I love the, the, the dynamic that she brings. I love the fact that she brings an outside voice. I love the fact that she's not in the echo chamber. I want her to stay and I want her to be happy. I think, um, I think sometimes the best intentions are there and the best passion is there. But if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Okay. Just the whole story, here we go. 